Hello, my friends of Qatari Labs. Welcome to this webinar. Okay, the webinar of today is about, uh, let me show you on, uh, on our webinar lab. Okay, is modeling variable viscosity groundwater flow with mod flow 6 and model muse. Okay, so why to model viscosity in groundwater flow? We should take into consideration this phenomenon when we Try to work with something that is not exactly water, okay, or it is a dissolved phase. Uh, that is a dissolved phase, but this dissolved phase has another viscosity, okay, it has another properties, okay. It could be a kind of, um, uh, for example, contaminant that is has another viscosity that you have to take into account that and mostly related to um, heat transport, okay? In order to improve the accuracy of our groundwater flow, the simulation um, of the simulation, we need a strong conceptual model, um, okay? You need uh, also a high quality observation data set and a numerical mode code that can handle the specific characteristic of the groundwater flow we want to evaluate. So Modflow 6 comes with a lot of tools for that, uh, from the tools, uh, we have uh, the viscosity package that is implemented on the latest version of model uh, of model Muse. Okay, that is an, that the viscosity package actually belongs to Modflow 6. And this webinar is an applied case of variable viscosity modeling to the injection of salinity and, uh, and heat in a regional uh, in a model with a regional groundwater flow. And the main features for the implementation of the viscosity package are explained, and the resulting concentration or two points are evaluated through flow pipe codes. Okay, great. If you are following me here, please type one on the chat. And just for the people that are looking for the, this will be posted immediately on our Patreon, and I want to. I want to, to congratulate because we have more Patreons now. So we are, we have 23 Patreons, okay? And so it's patreons.catarilab, so, but I want to see. Okay, let's see, I am signing in. So this in, if you want to, patreon.com. Labs, and this will be the place where all our webinars will be stored and all the previous webinars are also stored. So we have uh, a how uh, well we have some 23 followers so far and well that has increased as well. Okay, so let's see. And then this webinar in two weeks will be released as a this webinar in two weeks will be released as a, a tutorial. Okay, so okay, so you have downloaded and then you have placed it under your document folder. Okay, the webinar of more various cost of groundwater flow. Okay, and here there is a, a text file, okay, and we have some intro because I have prepared some intro for this, uh, for this uh, tutorial, okay. This is based, okay, uh, okay, some key concepts of the viscosity package, okay, is read from the VSC uh, file, okay, and if you use the viscosity package, there will be a dependence, okay? There will be a dependence on the fluid viscosity in the solute concentration and the resulting, uh, and resulting change in the hydraulic conductivity and the conductance. So the viscosity will affect the hydraulic conductivity and the conductance, okay? So you can only have one viscosity package per groundwater model, okay? And the viscosity is the reference viscosity plus the sum of the 
slope that relates the viscosity to concentrations yeah, times the concentration minus the uh, reference concentration okay for viscosity okay so this is the and uh, this is for every species where the concentration actually affect the viscosity like heat and like salinity okay variation in temperature have a greater effect on the fluid viscosity and we can also reformulate this formula through this one where we have the viscosity that is the uh, where the where where this term okay where this term is actually defined by this formula that is a nonlinear that is uh, the the concentration the reference concentration okay times a2 okay to the this exponent that is related to this to the reference concentration to the concentration and some um, and some parameters that are uh, these values and these I bring it from the mod flow documentation okay okay when we uh, well that's it because for the stress package let me see if we have something for the stress package yeah this is an intro to the Uh, okay, for some package, the viscosity adjusts the conductance. Okay, so the conductance is assumed to vary inversely to viscosity. So when you have more viscosity, you will have less conductance. Okay, uh, and usually for the reference viscosity of one, you have um, the viscosity is equals to one for fresh water is equal to one okay and um, a groundwater model can be used to calculate concentration for advanced package so the ones are lake stream flow routing multi acoustic well uh, and uh, so and saturated through the flow zone okay great 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 Great, so that is the intro. So let's start with our model and let's start doing and applying viscosity to a model. Okay, so I'm going to close this, close this as well. Oops, sorry. Okay, so let's start. Let's start model mod flow model muse. Let's start model muse. Everybody, please start model muse. Let's start a new project with model muse that actually appears here. Let's start a new mod flow model next. We are going to work with meters and seconds next okay and here we are going to work with just one layer group okay with just one layer group and from the layer group will be from mm -hmm. To zero to minus 20 okay if you are here with me please type one okay if you are here two please type two if you are here with me please type two and then we are going to go with the no grid option okay we then one and the no grid option great that is great so we start with this. Okay. 
So we are going to import file, import shape file, file, import shape file. And here we go to the webinar, we go to the shape file, and then we have the model AOI, model AOI. Okay, that is a shape file that defines the area of our model. Okay, great. So, uh, the model of AOI is a value of print close. Yes, single multiple object. Okay, we import that. Okay, and it appears here or whether it appears here under and use objects because you just have imported. Okay. Kawusi, are you following me here? If you are here with me, please type two, three. And then we change the data of color. Great, so we change the data of color. And then uh, we define that the grid cell size will be 100. Okay, grid cell size will be 100. And that's okay. And that's okay. And then we generate that. Okay, so that is our grid. Okay, so we have defined it that the grid cell size is 100. Uh, we have changed the color. Okay, great. And then with this one, we have generated our grid. And that's it. Okay, great. Great, great. So let's go to model. Let's go to layer groups. Let's go to model, let's go to layer groups, and the discretization instead of being 10, one will be 10. So we are going to work with one layer group and 10 layers inside that layer group. Okay, if you can see, if you are here with me, please type four. Okay, yeah, great. So now we are going to uh, the percussion programs. We are going to work with the percussion programs. Model percussion programs. The storage, because this will be transient. We are going to here. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Again, again, again. Chance. Because since the viscosity is related to a transport model, we have to go to the groundwater transport. And then we have to define, okay, we have to activate the groundwater transport. Okay, we have to activate dispersion, second source. Okay, the fourth one. Okay, and here on chemical species, that will be the heat, and that will be the salinity. Okay, that will be the heat, and that will be the salinity. Okay, we type okay. Kawusi, please, if you are here with me, please type five. We type okay, and then we go back to the we type OK, and then we go back to package programs because uh, you need this loop in order for the package to be recognized. OK, so this will be the storage. And in the viscosity, here we the reference viscosity will be 0 0.00089, OK? The thermal species will be known. Uh, no, actually, no, the thermal species will be heat. Yeah, it will be non-linear. And this will be 10 to 48.37, 133.150. Okay. The reference heat it will be 20 and the slope will be zero, while the salinity will be 1.92 
a minus six. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll see if you're here with me, please type five. Okay, let's go back to the transport part. Okay, so we activated first these two and then we define two mobile species that hit transalinity, okay? If you are here with me, please type five. Then you type okay, and then you open that again because Okay, well, I will continue. Okay, so on the viscosity, uh, you have the heat and the parameters, you have the reference concentration and the slope. Okay, for the heat, the slope is zero because we are only going to work with the non-linear okay yeah so actually it doesn't matter with the concentration of heat okay because the non-linear part is the one that will be working here okay so we type okay great so let's go to the model model time okay so we are going to work with the model time and here with that will be from here to one day no 10 days the first time step and the other will be to 1000 days okay great so that will be one and the 10,000 days will be divided by four Okay, a steady transient one one. Okay, great. So this is our transient part. Okay, great. Yes. Good. So okay, so we have that. Okay, we can hide the selected object and then we are going to work with the band. Ah, okay, so we need to as well, we need to define the boundary conditions. Okay, and here on the boundary conditions, we are going to work with the uh, well package to the GHB package, well and the GHB, okay, no more than that, well package and the GHB package, okay. Great. So let's import the well file, import check file. Okay, so on the well, we are going to work with the regional flow. And let's explore the renal flow. Set value of intersected cells. That will be from zero to minus four because we we just want that it will appear in the first two layers only. Okay, so we type okay, and this is the renal flow. We select that again because by selecting that again, we can change that color. 
Okay, so that will be okay. And then here on workflow features, that will be a GHB that will go from the starts to the end to the end. The boundary head is five, and this is zero point zero one. And the heat and the salinity here, the heat will be 20, and the salinity will be zero. That's okay. Okay, file, import shape file. Okay, let's import the C. Okay, set value of enclosed cells. Uh, C. Okay, set value of enclosed cells. And this will be from 0 to minus 4. Okay, double click. We change the data of color. Okay, we change the data of color. Okay, and then here we type the GHB from zero to the end on the boundary zero and the other is 0 0.01 20 and zero okay great mm -hmm. so this is the okay so it's going from zero from five to zero so the regional flow is from left to right Okay, so we need also to set up the observations because we are going to have the concentration as observations and that is great. Okay, amazing, amazing, amazing. So let's see, what else do we have? We have the regional flow, we have, ah, we are going to import the injecting well, five, import check five. And the injecting well will be at minus nine. Set value of inject intersected cells. Okay. We open that again. And most of features that will be well. And then on the first stress period. Okay, so there is one, two, there is the first stress period, and zero, it will be, okay, so it will be injecting only on the second stress period. Mm -hmm. So zero, zero, and then this will be, and it will be injecting salt water and, okay, and hot water and salty water, okay, that is salt water. And select. Okay, that's okay. That's okay. Amazing. Okay. Okay. And then we have to. Okay, so that is the injection, and then we have to go to the observation. So file import check file. Observation one set value of intersected cells. Okay, one minus nine. Okay, we open that, we change that of color, of course. And then here, multiple features, we select observation, and this will be called OPS1. Mm -hmm. And then from here, we only get the heat and salinity, not the heat, only the heat and the salinity. Okay, that's amazing. File, import, check file. And then here we go to OPS2. Set value of intersected cells. Minus 9.
Okay. Okay, great. So here we have the two observation points. We have the injecting well, we have the regional flow, and then here we have to define some special parameters for our simulation. Data, data sets. Uh, on hydrology, cell type is zero. And the KX is 0 0.002, okay, 2, okay, YK set, initial plate is 0, that's it, okay, the most important here is 0 0.002, apply, close. Okay, so let's save our project. Where we are going to save our project? Here we are going to create a model folder, and this will be called model one. Okay, that's amazing. So let's start trying to run our project because maybe we are doing some things. Uh, we maybe we made some mistakes. Okay, yeah, we made a mistake here. A mistake here is uh, but the um, yeah okay 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 I know what is this it's um yeah yeah is okay okay is related here data a data set yeah in the initial concent the initial concentration of heat is 20 okay this is the temperature of the groundwater and the salinity is zero okay that's why it's giving us okay 20 close let's save again and let's find Okay, what is what else? Heat. Okay, there is another error here. In uh, for example, it say that heat need the big G star. Okay, what is that here? Okay, model Pakashan programs water transport on the solver for heat we need to use the big g star okay that is and maybe for salinity okay let's see only for heat maybe and let's see if that is only for heat but i think that for salinity as well okay we run that okay now it says for salinity okay so you need on the transport model you have to use the big g stuff for both for every transport model okay that was a curiosity for me some time ago because i say okay do i have it to do it for all okay no i have no i know that i have to do for all. okay so here on the salinity also use the big g stuff I save the model. And then I run the model. Okay, now it's working. So this should be the salinity. Okay, that is running okay. The This is the heat that is running okay and the flow model well it's also running okay okay great 
let's explore the results. For example, we have the results for the heads. Okay, we are going to see the heads as a contour grid. Okay, that's the, those are the heads that has to go from five to zero. Okay, maybe we can give another uh, schema. Okay, and maybe we can put it 0 0.5. And then we can go to the, for example, to the layer where the injection is connected. Well, that's it. Okay, and then we can take it. We are not sure still. And then we can, for example, we can more we can see the heat as a color grid to the end. Okay, and that is the heat distribution. That is the heat distribution, and also we can work with the salinity concentration. Okay, how do you know that is because 40. Well, it's 36, but 40 was the initial concentration, okay? And then we see the plume, okay? That affects the two, the two observation points. And as well, we can see the salinity as a, as a color grid. Uh, we are going to create new data sets. And this is salinity because the salinity starts from 35. Okay, but if you compare both, actually in shape, they have no, okay. Uh, oops, sorry. Okay, in shape, they are almost the same because they have their um well maybe there will be some okay let's see now if there are some difference in trends okay so we have here two observation points and these are the observation points that we are going to open in a ipython notebook okay so here we open anaconda prom cd documents cd webinar Jupiter Lab. Mm -hmm. And here on the scripts we have a title. Okay, so we are going to kernel clear outputs okay so we import flow pi we import the load the model okay great besides that we get the names okay so we have the mod flow the heat and the salinity okay and then we open the concentrations of the heat and it says that Ah, okay, in this case is model 1. It was not model 1A. Okay, so these are the heat values for the observation 1 and observation 2. And as well, these are the salinity values for observation 1 and observation 2. Okay, and here we can plot the... Mm, The trends, okay, these are for the heat. This is how the the this is how the concentration one is increasing for the uh, uh, for the heat and the for the observation two. Okay, and this curve is almost related to the to the transport. Okay, so well it's really hard to see. I mean, if the trends are different, because actually the values are not the same. Okay, but as we can see, is 
uh, we see the distribution of the heat and transport. Okay, and uh, we see that this is using the viscosity package. How do you know that it's using the viscosity package? Because in here in mod flow now. Mm -hmm. We have the model one. Okay, we have the changes in between the heat and salinity. Okay, and in model one dot num. Okay, we are using here the VC, the viscosity package. Okay, so it also takes into account the viscosity. Okay, so this is for you. Um, is a review of the this is the review of the values okay and as well is a review so review the literature and is an ex, apply example of the implementation um, uh, well uh, that is the tutorial of today remind just to remind you that it will be posted right now on our for our Patreon followers, and if and maybe in two weeks or three weeks it will be posted as a tutorial. Okay, thank you for following us, and don't forget to subscribe. In the we have a a coming. A diploma in Python for water resources. Okay, and uh, that is coming on November, so we hope that you can follow it. Okay, thank you. Uh, and here you can see where you can follow us. Okay, we are always publishing great stuff in uh, numerical methods with open source software. Okay, have a great day. Bye.